Hello? Can you... Can you hear me? You can? Okay. Just need to make sure. Uh, you're Daniel, right? Daniel Thompson? Good, good. I just needed to make sure I had the right person. Didn't want to call the wrong person this type of time. I guess I'll explain myself. My name is Willis. Willis Alexander Johnson. But you can just call me Wilson. It's an Anyway, welcome to the Fazbear Incorporated Memorial Museum and Storage Complex. <sighs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> You applied to work as a security guard, so you'll be here from midnight to 7 in the morning. Job is pretty simple. Watch the cameras, make sure no criminals get in, animatronics don't move around too much. Yeah, I guess I should explain. We do have some active animatronics in the building, salvaged right from the remains of the factory. A bit burnt, a bit damaged, but they still work. Can't show them around the public, though. They don't know it exists yet. Another reason we don't show them is because they're slightly dangerous, which is why we have a security guard. We want you to make sure that they don't move too much. If they move, they they might try to go for your office. They might try to head directly towards you, and that would be bad, because I'm not sure what would happen to you. So, there's a few things in this office you can use to defend yourself, if necessary. The laptop on your left has access to the security cameras, allowing you to check uh, their positions in the museum and the storage complex. The little sections with like three dashes show where it moves to the different floor. You also have access to the electronic door locking mechanism from the cameras, so if you see them in one of the hallways, the left or right hall outside your office, shut the door. Whatever wandered over will wander away if they run into a wall. You also have an audio lure system in there, which allows you to lure them to a different place. It uses some kind of signal. I didn't install it, so I'm not entirely sure how it works, but yeah, you can use it to lure them around places, might not work on all of them. Then on the right laptop you have two systems, a tracking system to find where they are, and a signal corruptor. The signal corruptor allows you to disable all the electronic devices in a certain camera. It'll freeze animatronics in place because it freezes their software but it does consume power and blacks out that camera, so that's a problem. Now you know what to do if they come from the left or right, shut the doors. If they come from the front, I'd hide under that desk. They mainly rely on sight, so if they don't see you, they can't hurt you. Problem solved. But if they come from the back door, just walk over there, open it up, and shine your flashlight in their eyes. Just make sure you hear them knock on the door first. Don't want to shine it when there's nothing there. Is there anything I've missed? Oh yeah, the power. The cameras, the doors, the signal corruptor, those all tap into the building's main power supply. And if it runs out, place goes dark, and I'm not sure what'll happen then. But if nothing is active, not using cameras, not using doors, no corruptor, it should regenerate. There are backup generators that'll turn on. The, the audio lore, it also uses a slight bit of power every time you use it, so keep that in mind. Anyway. I'm gonna let you get to work. Remember, you're here till seven. Night, Daniel.
Uh-huh. <sighs> 